Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. In today's video, we're going to work with subversion, and we're going to work a little bit more um, as though we have multiple people working on the application at the same time. I am going to be doing this by having two versions of JDeveloper open at the same time, and I'm switching back and forth, although it's not quite apparent. I will put a button here. And we'll call this, um, you know, let's do it a surround by so that we can see the button. Panel group layout. And we're going to call this button button person A. Okay, and you notice that this is button CB1. So we want to make sure that, um, and now you can see that as I save it, um, the JSF is um, in the outgoing. So I'm going to say added to describe it. We're going to go over to the other application that does not have that button. And we're going to put one on. Now, again, it's the same thing. I have to put this in a group. Probably should have just copied and pasted it surround with panel group layout and we want to make sure that the panel group layout is not the same as the so let, let's go into the source here and this is the issue we've got that one in uh, B and we should call this uh, person B you can see that as I write that it updates here which is pretty amazing and um, <clears throat> we'll make sure that that one and this one are the different. Now they're the same. Now um, that could cause a conflict. And also this could cause a conflict if it's the same as this. So you really need to have um, naming conventions on all of your buttons. A. And this is uh, PG11. You're also supposed to keep these short, by the way. Panel group um, A, P A, I'll call it for person A. And um, I've heard that if this is a long value, a long string, then it um, creates some issues with um, how fast your application will. And person B, okay? And uh, that should keep it unique within the application because the um, outside container should be unique and therefore this isn't a problem. But you know, it might not hurt if um, to, to make sure um, and that that will now make it unique in the page. OK, and let's do this for a naming convention um, over in application A. That's a little bit long, so let's just say PA. OK, so um, that will help keep the speed of the application going better from what I've read or heard. I don't remember where I got that. I think it was in a video. OK, now let's save it, and uh, we will commit. OK, and over here, now because I have two versions of the same application open at the same time, uh, JDeveloper thinks that I'm working on the same application, when in fact, relatively speaking, I am, but I'm not. So ignore that if it happens again. Now, I don't have any outgoing yet. Well, I do, but I also have an incoming, and we should apply that. Oh, what happened here? I guess it did create a... <clears throat> so how did it do it? It did it through the facet. All right, so um, I could resolve. I've noticed that when I resolve using this, it tends to delete stuff. So basically what we need to do is take this, take that out, take this out, and um, looks like this is how you get to know XML. Looks like we have a good situation here now, but we do have What's going on with this? You would think 
that that would not be a conflict. So let's see what's going on here. Not expected. Oh, it's another panel group. Sorry. Um, and we need to get this. There we go. That should do it. So basically the facet was the same, and that's why it caused the uh, issue of a conflict. Okay, so let's go in and uh, <coughs> outgoing. It looks like we can... Now, I think what we want to do here is mark it as resolved, because in fact it is, right? We have resolved it to our satisfaction, and um, resolved conflict with facet. Okay, in the next um, video that I'm going to do, I'm going to show how to do it with the um, resolved conflicts. But I kind of like this way better because the resolved conflicts does seem to wipe away data if um, you're resolving something at the higher level. So uh, you can watch that video also, but this is a way to do it using XML. Have a great day.